Welcome back to Mike Matei Live. <laughs> That's what I like to call it here. I like to call it Mike Matei Live. Why did I name it that? Because I needed a name of some sort. I don't have a good reason. I don't have a good reason why my logo on Twitch is a pretzel, really. I just like it. It's from Pac-Man. All my, uh, all my loyalty badges on Twitch are Pac-Man related. Pac-Man, Pac-Mania, people that have subbed for a year now, and I've been doing this for a year, got, uh, I think it's the Miss Pac-Man loyalty badges, and the way it works is, uh, basically, if you, if you give bits, you might get, like, a cherry or an orange or something, but the loyalty badges, let's say you're subscribed for, I think if you subscribe at all, you get Pac-Man, so then it looks like Pac-Man is eating a cherry or something like that. That's the way I did that. And speaking of Pac-Man, here we go with some more Pac-Man 256. I play this every once in a while just because I like it. It's a good game. It's fun. And that's what we're doing. So let's go with some more Pac-Man 256. So here we go. Eat and shatter. I missed it. Seems like the audio might be a little low, but... We'll see. That's okay. That's okay that that did that because I want to just fix this super. All right, I just made it a little bit louder. Hey, thanks, Evo Waves, for the sub. I think it was. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was Floor Tap. Thank you, Floor Tap, for the sub. What's up, Walker1? Alright, we're gonna get this started now. Let's go. I don't remember what my high score was before for the game. Uh, thank you, Scraggle Rock. Thanks for all the streams. I helped you beat games like TMNT and Batman. Well, that's awesome. I, you know, I often hope that uh, people watch my streams and not only, you know, get good game recommendations, but also that kind of stuff, helping people get through games. So that's great. Thank you, Sir Goose, for the sub. Thank you, New Wave Junkie. How you doing, New Wave Junkie? Ooh. Sub hype. And again, thank you, Scraggle Rock, as well. Down in Scraggle Rock. Again, I have no idea what my high score before in this was, but... I guess that's gonna be the deal. We're gonna see what kind of high score I can get. Now, I do know that uh, if I get a chain of 256 dots, um, you get, I forget what you actually get though, you get some kind of bonus or something. I kind of forget what happens. We'll see at some point. Oh, and there my chain broke. This game is off the chains, huh? Little bump. Miss Pac-Man, one year badge, awesome. Yeah, did you just get it, fuck fart? Fuck Fart McGee. Hey, Fuck Fart McGee. I don't think I've seen you in here in a while. Thanks for coming back. We always enjoy some... Some Fuck Farts in here. Oh, shit. And I'm dead. 3,000. Hanna-Barbera Pac-Man for the two-year badge. Oh, like the cartoon Hanna-Barbera. That's not a bad idea. Um, you know, you know what I think is kind of a shame? I feel like they should do, like, uh, at least, like, a year and a half. You know, it's kind of crazy that you have to be subbed for two, two years to get another one. I think they, I think they should put in one for a year and a half. Thanks, Nintine99, for subbing with Twitch Prime. Nintine says he, that he loves this game. I love this game, too. I come back to it every once in a while, just because I feel the need for pack speed. 
coins help you get more upgrades. Oop, just lost my chain. This is, that right there is probably my favorite um, item that you can get. It's like you're like the emperor from Star Wars with this shit. Ultimate power! That's not good. I want to see if I can get the explosion explosion thingy. So the pink ghosts are a bitch. That I can tell you for sure. If you're wondering how I'm playing this, by the way, I play this on Steam. I'm using an Xbox One Elite controller. Now you know how I'm doing this. Pac-Man hype. Do 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 do. Oh shit. Will this be another five hour plus stream? Uh, <laughs> I think that's really funny that you remember that that uh, the stream that I did was about a five hour stream of this. I, I want to say I played it like, I don't know, a few months ago or something. And I did a really long stream of it. Ah, crap. Tell you what, if I get enough subs, I'll just keep playing this until I pass out. <laughs> How about that? If I can get a sub every three minutes, I will continue to play this until until I can't play it anymore. Until I fall asleep. How about that? That's my deal to you. Thank you, Jeremy1337, for subbing. Eight months in a row. Thanks for all the years of kicking ass gameplay. Thank you for watching. Yeah, the Elite Controller didn't seem to work well at all. Wait a second. Wait, the Elite Controller didn't seem to work? Hang on a second. Hang on. I want to see what this comment is. Can you, you can't pause this. Oh, you can pause this. Shit, I didn't realize. Uh, totally Radical says, yeah, the Elite Controller didn't seem worth it to me at all. Oh, really? Why is that? I think it's great. I think it's one of the better D-pads you can get. Uh, I was looking at the Elite Controller on Amazon. The D-pad looked weird at first, but then saw it. And it had two D tap, two D pads. Oh yeah, uh, you can like pull the one off or something. Um, I don't want to do it right now. I, I think you can like interchange it or something, right? That's right, the Ron thirteen. <laughs> How you doing, Robbie? All right. It's good that uh, they let you pause it like that. Also, they give you a few seconds to get your bearings. That's nice as well. Just a really well designed game. How weird is it that one of the best Pac Man games ever came out, what, only a few years ago? When did this come out? 2015 or some shit? Probably before that, right? Shit, 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 shit. Ooh, that was close. Thank you, Gone Fishing, for subbing. I mean, there's plenty of great controllers that don't cost 150. That's true. It's a good point. That is a good point. I just think it's really solidly built. You don't see that kind of quality often, you know. Controllers are, ah oh shit, controllers are important. It's important to have a good controller. It's like if you're an archer, it's good to have a good bow, you know. I used to do archery. It is expensive, bro. It is expensive, brutal but clean. It's an expensive controller. I don't think it was 150 though. How much is it going for now? I thought it was more like 
80 or something. I didn't think it was that expensive. Maybe it is. I don't remember how much I paid for it because I got it a long time ago. I'm gonna have to remember to focus on this and then in between rounds look at the chat because I wanna try to make it somewhere in this here. Oh, there we go, I got the, wow, I didn't think I was actually gonna get that right there, but I got it. Can I get two in a row? No, because he's gonna come out and I'm not doing that. Can I make it across? I can. Ooh. As long as I take out the pink guys, that's all I really care about. Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Just take him out. Boom. Ooh, watch this, watch this shit. But -da 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 -da. Boom. And but -da 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 -da. Boom. Fuck him. Is this game the reason for the sub Pac-Man icons? Uh, ha. No, it's not this game in particular. It's just Pac-Man in general. Um, honestly, what it's really about, and I probably talked about this before, but what are you going to do? Um, you know, the Pac-Man games, the arcade games, were some of the first games I ever played in my life, so it's really more about that. Pretty simple answer. And I mentioned it a lot, but uh, there was a roller rink in my town. And I used to go there, and they had like Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man. It was just a really, it was just a lineup of all the Pac-Man games. They had Professor Pac-Man, like all of them. Um, Super Pac-Man, and uh, and I loved the art on them. You know, I loved cartoons since I was a kid. You know, the old Disney cartoons and Fleischer and Popeye and all that stuff and the artwork. Um, and even like the, that Donkey Kong artwork, you know, on the, on the classic Donkey Kong machine. It's just very uh, sort of classic animation style, at least. Looks like something out of the 19, you know, 30s or something. Um, and it just really appealed to me. I'm like so screwed right here. I'm probably gonna die. Oh my god. Um, if I make it out of this, it'll be a fucking miracle. I might do it, I might do it. I'm gonna try to get this fucking thing. Um, so yeah, so really it's just my love for Pac-Man. You know, one of the most classic characters of all time, and it's something that everybody can understand. You know, so I thought it would just be a perfect sort of thing for... for loyalty badges and all that. And bits. Oh, that was close. I was taking a risk there. I uh, just got a, get a community gift sub, so thank you so much. This is from Walker1, and he gifts sub to Mecha Yoshi, the Ron1313, Ben Auton, Arthur B. Fud Pucker. Thought I said Fudge Packer. <laughs> Electrohead Dante, Vic Pack85, User56, Red Bandana Gaming. Exclamation point. Bass Champion. Sakano Kao. And Hobby Man Mike Gaming. Thank you for the sub. And if you got a gift sub, please say thank you to Ryan Walker1. Alright. Jesus Christ, this map is humongous. Well, this is endless. It's a, uh, it's a high score game. Do, 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 do. I want that electricity thing, but I'm not gonna risk it. Am I dead? Fucking shit! 
That sucks. What could I have done? Do you remember your old high score for this game, Mike? I don't. I actually checked before this, but I did a fucking five-hour stream. I'll probably be playing this for a while, so if anybody wants to go take a look with the, what the old score was, uh, that would be actually very helpful. I don't think... The problem is I don't think I did it in... Um, I don't think I did it at the end of the stream. I probably did it somewhere in the middle, so... I couldn't find it. I should have wrote it down in the description. But I guess I'm an asshole and I didn't do it, so... What can I say? But we can keep score of my high scores today. So, so far it was about 6,000. Five hours of Pac-Man. I did, I did do five hours of Pac-Man. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll beat it today. We'll see. A lot of great great time did I play any arcade games? Hang on a second. Uh, User War says I got to meet the Cinemassacre crew. Uh, Cinemassacre crew this past weekend. I was sad to have missed you and Aaron. Mike. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah. James did a signing and uh, Aaron did a panel. Um, so I was there for a little bit and I picked up a bunch of um, picked up a bunch of merch, which was cool. That's my favorite part of going to conventions, is picking up the merch, and if I happen to see anybody, you know, meeting up with the fans or whatnot. Um, but yeah, what did I pick up? I picked up, uh, well, I'll have to show you guys. But I'll, I'll get to that. So yeah, I got some merch. I got some NES games, actually, in the box that I actually didn't have. A lot of them games that I had, but I didn't have them in the box. Uh, I'll tell you one. I didn't have Top Gun, believe it or not, in the box. I had Top Gun, but not in the box, so I got that. And speaking of Top Gun, I actually want to do a Top Gun stream, because believe it or not, I have never done a Top Gun stream, I realized. And I want to try to beat Top Gun on stream. So that's a uh, little goal of mine. And uh, I just did something the other day. I I had um, beaten Mike Tyson a bunch before, you know. I did uh, James and Mike Mondays and stuff, but um, I had never done it on stream. So the other day I did that, which was something that I'd been wanting to do for a while. But I needed some practice to do it because um, that's a that's a tough game. And uh, I actually might come back to that again because I feel like I can still do a little better than that. But we'll see. Um, Knock him out, knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Uh, you did a short 15 minute Top Gun stream with James on Twitch. Good memory, I did do that. I don't know, I think we were just trying to land the plane. I don't know if we did or not. Uh, that was the goal of that one. But I wanna, I think there's four levels and I wanna actually try to beat it. Um, which I think I have beaten it before many, many years ago, like when I was in high school or something. Thank you, Raul uh, Roll, for subbing with Tier 1. I appreciate that. Um, what's the most expensive game I've ever bought, it says uh, Rank and Roll. Um, since I have this on pause, I'll, I'll send you. I just did a video about that subject. Um, cause that's funny because I, that's a question I get all the time and that's why I made this video. So, I will send you a link to this and I have a, uh, the other thing is I have a pretty interesting story about it. So I will send you a link to that right now. Should work. Okay, so check that out. That was from Rank and Rule, I believe. Sorry if I'm... Rank... Rank and Roll. Rank and Roll. Almost like Rock and Roll, right? Maybe Mike can land the plane. Um, I, I, I can definitely land the plane. Um, maybe not my first try or whatever, but that's not too bad. Oh, and we did land it. Okay, so I've already done that. Um, but yeah, I, I gotta beat it all the... See, I have to remember how to like line up the gas thing. To that part of it, I forget. And then, um, 
I forget what happens after that. I feel like the third level is kind of just a normal, you're shooting stuff, I don't, like battleships or something, I kind of forget. It's been a long time. That's why I want to stream it, because it's been a long time since I did the later levels in Top Gun. I'm actually really interested to do that again. Ooh, and that was nice that they give you some invincibility time there. Can I get this? Zap! My favorite weapon! Get the guy that's close to me. Yes. Alright, so far this is my high for today, so far. I'm bad at getting all the fruit. And I know that if you get the fruit, it's a big uh, help. Jesus. probably one of my problems with getting a high score is that I'm not doing the 2, 5, 6 bonuses enough, and I'm not doing the fruit bonuses enough, I'm not doing everything enough. I was gonna. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna die. Fuck! Alright, 11. 11 5. So far. This stage never ends. It's. Um, it's a high score game. There aren't stages. But there's different um, variations on what we're looking at, which I can do. That's right, Nebby. Free gift. Play Tetris on NES. I suck at Tetris, so I don't know. People get very uh, into Tetris. How do you change the theme here? Oh, here it is. Okay. Classic 80s. Ooh. The Grid. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Crossy Road. That's all right. Robot. That's kind of cool. Ooh. The office. Go karts? Garden. Pac Mania. Digital World. Ooh, I kinda like that. Arcade. Let's do Digital World. I, I kinda like the look of that. Have I played Tetris 99? I did, uh, Coin Op. So, my. Ooh, this is very green. Uh, my Switch is broken. It's just like the hardware failed on me. And, um. Uh. You know, most most people that doesn't happen to, but I, I've talked about it before about my Switch breaking. And after, after my Switch broke, I actually got a. Um. You know, a lot of people would just say, oh. You know, you're treating it badly or. You didn't power it up right, or this or that, but but there was a, a mi minority of people that contacted me actually, and they told me that the same exact thing ha has happened to them. So, oh shit, what did I do? Um, hit the wrong direction. Uh, so I'm not alone in that, but I think uh, it's 
you know, uh, it's probably not a common problem. Like, it's obviously not happening to a ton of people, but it does happen. So anyway, so basically my Switch just died out of nowhere. Um, so I, I, I bought it long enough ago that I don't think I have any kind of like warranty or anything. And it's not like I can't get another Switch, but I, I feel like it's just the, the principle of the thing is like, I bought it and it's not that old and it just, it shouldn't break and I don't really want to go out and buy another one because like what if it happened again or, you know, it's just kind of like, it's kind of annoying. Um, anyway, for, oh, so anyway, the, the question was about Pac-Man, or no, it was about Tetris 99. Tetris 99 is an awesome game and I might come back to it, but my problem with it for the moment was, was the controller. Uh, I don't like the Joy-Cons at all. And I, ne I don't like them for any game. I just don't like the Joy-Cons. So I was trying it with the Switch Pro Controller, which I also don't really like, and especially not for Tetris 99. Thank you, uh, Nostal Kicks, for subbing. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so with the Switch Pro Controller, shit. Um, there is sort of a bug with it where if you hit up, Sometimes it like messes it up, and it'll it'll do it wrong. Basically, I'm gonna die. Uh, and a lot of people have that problem, so you don't want to use the pro controller with it. So uh, a lot of people will, were like, "Hey, well, use the 8-bit do controller," but I don't want to do that either because it's like Bluetooth, and I prefer to use wired controllers I always use wired controllers and again that's another subject uh, some people are like well why do you you know what's the pro problem with wired wireless controllers again I'm probably in the minority with that but there there are a lot of people that agree and don't like wireless controllers I'm just a wired controller kind of guy so um, so I needed to find an option for that and I did now find an option and I'll tell you that in one second James Daniello Thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime, and thanks, uh, oh, you subbed for two months, thank you. Um, there's, um, oh, fuck, batteries. Oh, that's the other thing, the batteries. Uh, but there you go, there's people in the chat right now that are talking about how they prefer wired. Uh, 62442HP5 does, Brutal But Clean does, uh, Andrew Ray in the chat does. So, so I'm not alone in that, so I prefer wired controllers. And, um... So there is an option, and that is the Hori, there's a Hori switch controller, I don't know how to pronounce it, Hori, Hori whatever. Um, so I might look into getting that, and somebody messaged me that there's another one too. There's another, so any wired switch controller options uh, that you know of, I, it would be great if you emailed me or tweeted me. Because I'm going to look into that, because I think Tetris 99 is an awesome game, um, and I'd like to play it more. Um, I, pro I would probably borrow Aaron's um, Switch to play it, if I wanted to play it more. I don't think I'm going to buy another Switch. Just, I don't, uh, you know, I'll borrow, I'll borrow at one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy another one. Just, no, I'm not doing that. Anyway, I have the GameCube controller for the Switch, says Super Jeff. Oh yeah, GameCube was the other thing. Yeah, uh, so <clears throat> because of Smash Brothers, you know, they, they always release the, uh, that's gonna kill me, huh? They always release the thing that you can plug the GameCube controller into, so that's another option. Um, I'm not sure about that because the D-pad on the GameCube controller is, it's a good D-pad, but I kinda, it's kinda, from what I remember, it's kinda like sort of a small D-pad. Um, i try it though. I would definitely try it. Uh, maybe, that's probably better, for sure. I think, I think I would probably go with that Hori one. I wanna try that out. Um, so that, but uh, but the GameCube option, maybe that's a good option. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to try it. 
Everyone watching right now donates two dollars. He can buy a new one. Maybe we should start a GoFundMe. LOL. Um, n n yeah, I think there's better ways to spend the money, though. Uh, and please don't do that. But um, like, I personally like. I'd rather buy like a new like Neo Geo MVS game or something. I would enjoy that more. I'd rather get some, something that I really... I'd rather spend my money on something that I really, really want. And right now, I'm more into getting Neo Geo stuff. Like, that's where my mind is. And I want to get some more... Oh, boy, am I going to die? I want to get some more shit. I want to get some more shit. I want to get some more, like, Sega Saturn games. Because I don't have a ton. I got a couple Sega CD games uh, at the convention. Um... I got Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, which I want to try to stream. So. Hey, thank you, Brutal But Clean. Neo Geo stuff is expensive, right? Says Tion. Tion City? Um, yeah, it's. Usually it's. Almost always it's pricey, yes. And that's why it's kind of like if I was going to spend money on something, it's. I'd like to do that because. Um. Because this shit is expensive. So the option I came up with is uh, to, p to play like legit Neo Geo stuff. Um, basically, from what I know, the, the games on AES and MVS are pretty much similar. Um, pretty much the same thing. Um, and the MVS games tend, and I, and I uh, stress the word tend, tend to be cheaper, not not in all instances, but they tend to be cheaper, I'm gonna die again, they tend to be cheaper than the AES games. So to conserve for price, what I did was, I have an AES, you can get a converter to convert, to be able to play MVS games, and I did a uh, Puzzle Bobble stream about this, and I talked a lot about it, but if you weren't in that stream, uh, you can play MVS games through the converter on the AES game, and I figure that way I can get the MVS games, uh, which are a little bit cheaper, and just the games that I want to get probably because they're expensive. Am I going for the Neo Geo home console? What do you mean, gone fishing? I have a Neo Geo AES. That is that is the home console? I don't know if you're talking about something else. I know that you want legit, Mike, but have you checked out Neo Geo on Steam? Oh, I know I know. there's a lot of options. Um, I have a, I have a, well, I have an SNK, but there's like Neo Geo games. You can play them on Switch. I guess they're on, uh, there's some on Steam. Um, but, yeah, exactly, just like you said, I kind of want, like, legit, legit Neo Geo stuff. I'm just like that. That's just the way I am. I, if, if I have the option, I will do that. Occasionally, like, I'll play, like, a repro or something, but I really prefer not to. One example of that is Rekka. Like, I have that cart, like, on an NES, like, a gray NES cart. Um, in fact, it might be sitting around here. Anyway, um... I don't have that actual game, uh, the Famicom one, because it's fucking expensive. But, you know, so, but I prefer to play the original things. Anyway, okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'm looking into that, Arthur. So, I maybe, but really, I kind of want the individual carts. So, 
I'll pro that's probably so my Neo Geo shit is probably gonna be a very slow collection to co to not to complete but to collect games. I'm not even I'm not looking for a Neo Geo like a complete Neo Geo collection at all. Um, because I don't I don't play fighting games. I'm bad at them. I'm not really into them. Um, I will say that if there if, the, if there is any fighting game that I am into, it's probably Mortal Kombat. Um, as far as like traditional fighting, uh, you know, I, I like to play. If I had to pick one, I'd probably play Smash Brothers. But um, but as far as like the traditional, I, I do like some of the older Mortal Kombat stuff because I did play a lot of more like Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo and all that. But I hope that guy doesn't turn. There we go. Um, but yeah, that is something I want to do again is go up the ladder on Mortal on Mortal Kombat and just see if I can beat it. Um, I'm that I'm that bad at it that I probably can't even just get through the tears. Uh, so, but it's it's fun. Please don't. Shit. Did you ever play t 2D Fighters much? SNK? No. Do I have any complete collections? Um, my Atari collection is the closest probably I have to complete, other than a few games that are more expensive than I can really um, afford, because they're like super expensive. Um, that would probably be my closest. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of fucking NES games, um, but... See, the thing about the NES games is a lot of the ones in the nerd collection are, like, mine, because um, I bought them, so probably 60% of those are ones that I bought, so, and I can take them out and, like, borrow them from the collection, so kind of, like, those are mine, sort of. They're, like, half mine, kind of. <laughs> I, basically, a long time ago, I told James, I'm like, listen, I bought, like, a lot of these, don't sell them because like I bought them they're in the nerd collection we're leaving them in the nerd collection they're not going anywhere and he's like okay <laughs> but he gets a lot of duplicates and stuff so like those whatever but like the actual ones like on the shelf that are in like good condition we're just keeping them there um and then myself here uh I have um see the thing is with me and NES uh the nerd collection is almost all loose cartridges since then, what I've been doing personally is I've been collecting NES games with the boxes very in infrequently. Like here and there, I'll just pick one up. And it's usually, uh, if I get one that I don't have, it's usually just a game that like I really want. Like a game that I really like, usually. Um, uh, so, yeah. Basically, if, if there's a game that I really love, like... For example, like Super C, like I love Super C. I have that in the box, or like Mike Tyson's Punch Out, games that I love. Um, so anyway, that's basically what I'm doing with that. Where am I going? All right, let's play this again. <clears throat> Motherfucker Mike, you ever consider doing James and Mike Mondays as a live stream and then post the video to YouTube after? I would love to do that, but um, uh. James has much more limited time to record than he used to, so uh, probably not right now, but hopefully one day we can do more stuff like that, and I, I hope that one day we can record more like we used to, but we'll see. So... So the pre-recorded, so pre-record the streams and pretend to play live while you kick back and read the chat. There, there isn't time to pre-record the stream. We don't, I, like, I don't get enough time to record with him. So, like, there's hardly enough time to record James and Mike Mondays as it is, like, doing the actual episodes, so the, the, he doesn't have the time to do it. I would like, that. it would be great, I would love to do it, though. Fuck. 
All right, I'll take a quick break, and I'll be right back. Just a minute. Let's give this another shot. Again, if somebody wants to look at what that old high score was, it would be, it'd be helpful, but I don't expect anybody to go through a stream that long, though. Only if you want to. I'll do another theme here in a little bit, too, by the way. So, so far in today, I've gotten, shit, I've gotten 11,000. What date was the stream? Uh, after I die, I can put it in there, but it was like, I think it was over the summer, maybe? John Diaper says, I would rather be in prison than have kids. Well, cats are cool. Cats are cool, Capricorn. I'm, I'm gonna agree with you on that one. I like cats. I like animals. I'm, a, I'm an animal lover. Very much so. You're eating shrimp watching the stream? What kind of shrimp? Cocktail shrimp? Perhaps? So yeah, so I got a couple things at that convention, by the way. And am I gonna die? Ooh, that was lucky. Uh, maybe I'll pull that stuff out in a, in a bit and show you what I was able to get. This is not good. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna change themes here. I got a free gift. Ooh, let's see if I can buy anything here. Let's see. Um, so, what am I using? Uh, okay, so I've got the explosion thing, which is on seven. Well, let's bring that up if I can. I'm gonna grab that so I can get that up to level eight. Boom, there you go. Alright, uh, I don't know. And then I have the lightning bolt that's already maxed out, and then this. Oh, uh, that needs another. So that'll be the next one. Um, I don't know if there's any. Like, would you guys say from anybody that's played this a bunch, like, I feel like those are pretty good, like, I use them pretty well, but if anybody thinks that there's a better one that I could choose than those, let me know. What is, what is this one? <laughs> like, I wonder how that is. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, let me do another theme. I do like that digital world one, though. I'll do arcade. We'll go through them. And here we go. I just passed by Centipede. Ooh, look at all those. We got Dig Dug, Galaga, the classics. Ooh, they have a uh, Sinistar machine. That's cool. You see the labels on there. Uh, 
Oh, there's the Ninja Gaiden arcade. That's cool. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna die. Motherfucker. Foosball at their arcade. Fix it, Felix. I just saw Fix it, Felix before the screen went away. I wonder if they stuck a fake uh, Polybius in here. Tron. Donkey Kong, of course. Qbert, saw Qbert in there. I must have missed that. I didn't see Qbert, but oh shit! Uh, I'm only time ran that. Okay. Instead of reading off fake um, things that don't exist, let me focus on what the fuck I'm doing. Ooh, look at the Pac-Man tabletop. <laughs> Boom. I ruined the illusion. It's such a satisfying sound. Bomb, bomb, bomb. If you look on the ground below me, you'll see the, uh, the numbers. Just got it. Almost. Boom, there it is. Oh, that just kills, like, everybody on the level, right? Is that what that does? What does the 256 exactly do? I don't exactly 100% know what it does. I saw that it like killed everybody, but is that basically what it does? It just killed everybody. Oh, you saw asteroids. Cool. Asteroids is awesome. How about a 24-hour asteroid stream? I'll do that next. Probably not, but it would be great. Holy shit. Did I just get that at the same time that I turned that corner and I would have died had I not gotten the 256 again? If so, that was definitely clip worthy. That was fucking insane. And I just made a fucking... That was nuts. Like, is that what just happened right there? Because I was gonna die, but then I got the 256 and it killed all the fucking people? Holy shit, that was lucky. That was fucking crazy. Sorry. If that's what happened, that was extremely nuts. What the fuck just happened? Did I get the, another one of the big things? Fuck! Oh, oh, I, I am big? Oh, I thought he got bigger than that. Alright, 7,000. Oh, I just made that one too. Go back. Ah. Oof. Not much time to get the next fucking fruit. Do do do. do.
baby, go baby, go baby. Good, fuck me. Give me something to help me out, please. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright. <laughs> We'll do it again. Thank you, Father. He says good run. That was the best so far. Damn. Damn. You saw the Pac-Man tabletop. It was in there. How close was that at 14? Close to 14. Um, so how many of you guys have played this yourselves? What What is your... What is your high? Oh, my old high score is 15, 8, 81. Okay, so I'm going for 16. If I can get 16, that'll be, that'll, then I'll break it. I'll try to write it down after it. All right, here we go. Check my clips. All right, here we go. Your high score is 44, but on iPad, okay. Well, that's good, because uh, this game on the iPad is, is rough. Um, I prefer definitely to play it with a controller. But, however, I mean, it's not too bad on an iPad. Um, you know, I, I do want to say, when I was on that trip, um, there is actually, you know, people shit on iPad games, but I played... I played one that was really actually pretty good and I recommend. It's called Ding Dong XL. And it's like a Pong style game where you just tap, all you have to do is tap the screen and uh, the, the ball like goes up and down on the, on the screen. And you have to avoid different blocks. It's actually really cool. And if you have like an iPad or whatever, I, I recommend getting it. If you're looking for, you know, some kind of game that isn't complete shit. Um, it's actually pretty good. Alright, so I'm, I'm looking to get 16 in here. Two days. You will have been subbed for a year then, and thank you. Oh, 
Pac-Man 2 The New Adventure someday. I, I probably will end up doing that, I'm sure. At some point. I have played that before, and I remember it being bad. <laughs> bad. Not good. Can I get to the electricity? <sighs> ah, I'm gonna change that. Fuck me. Thank you, Inflatable, for subbing with Twitch Prime. You guys do have Amazon Prime. You can sub for free. Zoop it up, it up. Dinosaurs Arcade was great, yep. Mike, do you think the perfect controller exists? Um... Mm, probably not, because, I mean, this is gonna come as no surprise, but probably my favorite controller is actually the NES controller. Uh, my problem with the NES controller is it does hurt my hand after a while. Not, like, for a while, but if I'm doing a really long session, if I'm playing for four or five hours a game, the fact that it's like, you know, a rectangle, it's fine at first, but after time it does start to hurt, like the edges. Um, other than that, I think that NES controller is really one of the best. Um, Super Nintendo controller is great as well, but I my problem with that is it's they break uh, without you know much. I I have, I have more problems with. Um, Super Nintendo controllers than NES controllers for sure, um, but as far as playing the games, the Super Nintendo c controller is great as long as it's an official one. Um, so Super Nintendo is really high up there um, on the list. Um, PlayStation Four, the Dual Shock, um, is really high up there for me. A perfect controller. I don't know. I don't know that there's a perfect controller, but um, but those are probably some of the better ones. Also, the uh, the Turbo Duo controller is really solid. I probably can't. I can't think of a damn bad thing to say about the Turbo con Duo controller. Honestly, um, the feel of it, the response of it, um, like really everything about it. I don't have a complaint about that controller. Off the top of my head, I'm trying to think of anything. Um, I, I can say one thing, the, uh, the system itself only has the one controller port, so you have to get this adapter to plug in more than one, um, to do, like, two-player, so that kind of stinks, but that's not the controller itself, that's, like, how you hook it up to the system, uh, so if I had to pick, probably the closest thing would probably be, like, a PC Engine Turbo Duo controller. Uh, if I really had to, if, if I had to pick one. Um, alright, let's, uh, let's change the theme up. The bowling ball controller for the Wii. Yes. That's the best one. That's definitely the best one. What else do we got? Moonlander? Let's do that. That's cool. 
<laughs> I haven't done this one before. This is funny. But then it goes back the other way, too. <laughs> it's got that American flag planted like the moon landing. Yep. Should've got that out there. How about this? I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna make my attempt to go more for the fruit now. Fruit run. If I see a fruit, I'm gonna do everything I can to get it. Unless it... unless it's gonna kill me. Fruit run, fruit run, no one should terrify your neighborhood. Fruit run just won't be on time. Playing pranks on everyone. Oscars. Um, I didn't watch the Oscars. I don't care. I give no shits about the Oscars, so. I don't, I don't remember seeing any good movies, really, in, in, oh shit. Thought I had to think so. Um, I don't remember, I don't really like this theme that much. I'm gonna change it. It's alright, but it's not that great. What else? Shuffle? I like the green one, personally. Oh, well, I, let me try that. I haven't done that yet. I saw a little dull without a host. <clears throat> oh, it didn't have a host? Well, good. Then we don't have to fucking listen to Billy Crystal. Oscar! 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 It's the fucking Oscars! Or whatever the fuck shit he did. The Oscar sucks. Why are you gonna listen to some fucking film committee's opinion on what movie is good? It's stupid. Choose what movie you like. It's dumb. And why play favorites anyway? Just if you like a movie, why does there have to be best movie? There's no fucking definitive best movie. The, the whole point is stupid. It just doesn't even make any sense. Why do you have to pick a fucking favorite movie? It's so that you can make the fucking actors and directors feel like, like, fucking, have a fucking ego, ego trip so they can get a fucking golden statue. It's fucking stupid. It's fuck, and it's fucking advertising. And it's people fucking glorifying themselves. It's the stupidest fucking thing. And then you, and then you get hosts that aren't funny. Oscar, Oscar, it's the fucking Oscars. Da, 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 da. Bullshit. Nobody fucking cares. You know what the thing is? Real people don't fucking care about the Oscars. Like your average fucking guy. I don't give a, nobody gives a fucking shit. Go the other direction. God damn it. You know what I mean? If, and if you are somebody that feels like you like to pick favorites of things, pick it yourself. What movie do you think was good? You know? Why do you give a shit what, what some fucking film committee that you don't know? You know, if, if anything, better than a fucking going with some fucking random fucking Hollywood film committee, ask your friends. 
You know, ask your friends what movies they liked because their fucking opinions should matter more to you than some fucking bunch of assholes that you don't even know. You know, and it's and all and also they they fuck they usually exclude like movies a lot of times that should like there's a lot of movies that aren't even on there on the fucking they don't even make the fucking list that should be there. It the whole thing is so fucking dumb. Like, I just, I don't, I don't watch it, I don't like it, and it's bad. <laughs> that's what, that's what I think. Chosen Nemlik says, I like you more every stream, like, haha. <laughs> yeah, just, I, you know, I speak the truth. It's like, I don't give a fucking shit, we're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> How do you like that? Shit. Oscar viewing numbers are dwindling, and rightfully so. Well, it's fucking so television is dwindling. I don't even. I don't even have TV. I don't watch TV. I used to watch TV. I watched a lot of TV. When I was a kid, all I did pretty much was watch TV. And literally, there is nothing on television that I watch. There couldn't be because I don't even have a fucking. Uh, Hang on one second. I don't even fucking have a television anymore. I, I, it's, enough, it's stupid to pay for it if I don't watch it. Uh, one second. Da, 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 da. And I'll probably continue on my Oscars rant in a moment. Just a moment or two. So the the new um, Mike and Tony video is out. Uh, we just did. We tweeted the episode of Mike and Tony Tuesdays. Uh, I love the new Doom game. Mike Matei loves the classic Doom game. So we met in the middle and played the classic maps in Doom 2016. If you want to go over and check out on uh, Cinemassacre Plays the new Mike and Tony Tuesdays, you can check that out. Just came out. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to say about the Oscars. I just, I don't care about it. Don't care. The only movie off the top of my head that I saw, uh, in 2018 that I liked at all, really, was, um, the Mr. Rogers movie. I'd recommend checking that out. If you... And also, really, only if you grew up watching that at all. Um, if you didn't, it probably means nothing to you. So, you know. Um, that was good. That's about it. That's the only thing I can think of. Is there any movies that I'm missing out on that was good? I don't remember anything else that was fucking good. There's, there was probably something else. I don't know. Not much. Not much. If he goes that way, I'm fucked. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Awesome. Did I see Overlord? Uh, no. I don't even know what that is. So, that's the other thing. There's probably a bunch of movies that I didn't see, so... Avengers 3. Um... I would, I would really like Avengers 3, except for the fact that they're gonna ruin it. If that was the, if that movie was the last Marvel movie ever, I think it would be an amazing fucking movie. But they're just gonna ruin it. They're gonna, they're gonna take the whole, like, point of that movie and just ruin it by, like, you know, it should, they should have balls and just kill all the fucking characters and let Thanos win. That would be great. Then I think that movie would be fucking awesome. 
But they're just gonna bring him back, cause they have to, cause fucking the, the good guys have to win. Fuck the good guys. Let the fucking bad guy win. Let them all fucking die. Then the movie would be fucking great. So. So, so fuck that. Fuck that shit. Stupid. Let the fucking Joker. Yeah, do a Batman movie and let the fucking Joker win. Let him, let him fucking kill Batman and then end it. And then don't make a sequel where he fucking comes back or some shit. Just fucking kill him. Kill Batman. Fucking kill him. And then, you know what? Yeah, make a sequel, but then have, then have the other fucking superheroes that are left have to fucking deal with the Joker. How about that? That would be more interesting. Have fucking Robin have to fucking deal with the Joker. And then have the Joker kill him, too. <laughs> just have all the superheroes, like, all have to deal with the Joker, and then have him just kill everybody and take over the fucking world. I would watch those. That's what I would like to say. It'd be, you know why? It would be different. It wouldn't be the same shit we've already fucking seen 10,000 fucking times. All superheroes gets killed by the Joker. Yes, exactly. Let's. I want to see that series of movies. I, I would be. I would be excited to see that. Bring the '60s Batman back? No. Don't, don't bring the 60s Batman back. They'll ruin it. And they'll fucking tarnish the whole fucking legacy of why that show was fucking great. Fuck that. Don't, that would be the worst idea ever. And it's like those new fucking Star Trek movies. They just fucking tarnish the whole fucking legacy of the fucking show. Fuck that shit. Or, or any time they try to fucking remake anything in the last couple years. Pretty much. Other than a few exceptions. Uh, Chosen Nemlik says the new Star Trek TV show sucks dick. I agree with that very much. So that's a that's a good way to put it. It's a good way to put it. I'm going for 16. I mean, obviously I'm going for more than that, but... Make some history Shit. And always have a lot Shit, fuck, fuck, shit So join in the jubilee I'm gonna fucking die because of the bottom shit God damn it that might have been my high though. What was, what was my old high? Was it fifth? No, you know what? I think somebody said fifteen eight hundred or something, right? Shit, I should write that down. What? Does anybody remember what the fucking number was from a few months ago? I should have wrote it down. If somebody says it again, I'll write it down. Fuck. I think I was close. Oh wait, no. Fuck. It says it right there on the fucking screen. I didn't realize it said it right there. Sorry. It saves it. Thank you, Brisby. For subbing. Sorry, I didn't realize it was right on the screen. Alright, I am going to take a... <laughs> it's like right It's like right on the screen. It's like, hey, asshole, here's your highest score from the last time. We put it on the screen. 
every single time you die, fuck you, you suck, you're going to hell. Live with it. I'll be right back in a minute.
Okay, folks, I am back, and uh, I'll show you a couple pickups that I got from the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Um, I'm showing you this here now because uh, before I go and put it up somewhere in the room, uh, look, I'm cropped off. Uh, this is the Nemesis Arcade Marquee. You guys know I collect arcade marquees. Um, so I got that. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool marquee. Um, not as cool as the uh, Asteroids Deluxe marquee, but it's cool and you know, great game. Uh, definitely a cool pickup. Then, and I was able to get it pretty cheap, which was good. Uh, I got two more things. Um, I got a Nintendo sticker activity album, which I don't know if any of you guys had this, but I believe I had it when I was a kid, but I picked that up again. Oh yeah, you know what, I definitely had this as a kid. Um, and inside, it's basically like you put this, you know, you put the stickers in there. Mario Brothers Crazy Coin Flip Race. Anyway, that's another thing I picked up. Look at these kids having so much fun. What else is in here? <laughs> you got a Moblin, you got a Zelda like Moblin maze, check that out. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Triforce is this way. Uh, okay, so I got that, and you might wonder why I got the next item, because I already had a copy of it, but my copy was not in the best condition, so I got a better condition first issue of Nintendo Power, which is also one of the best covers, and there's a quick thing about um, the, the first I feel like the first, uh, oh, I guess the whole magazine, but I really feel like the first, I don't know, 30 issues or so of it, um, they really made, what I think made this magazine so great was I don't think they thought of it as like a tip magazine or whatever. Like if you, if you look at like, I don't know, like Game Pro or something like that, I, I feel like they didn't think of it as a comic book. And I think that they thought of Nintendo Power as a comic book, and I think that's what made it so good. Like, if I open this up to the Mario 2 page, check that out. That is, it's basically like a comic book, you know? But combined with all good info. But they always had, like, all these little drawings and stuff. I mean, like, look at this, for example. You know, they're giving you, you know, tips and stuff. Lift enemies, the earth shakes. But, like, look at this. Zoom, pow, snap. It's, like, all comic book, you know, effects and stuff. And I think that that's really what made uh, Nintendo Power so, so great. And so, like, above and beyond what other gaming magazines at the time were doing. But then again, you know, this was Nintendo... And it was very much geared towards, you know, the younger kids, I guess, where, you know, a magazine like, uh, what's it called, Turbo Express or something like that? Turbo, For Turbo Force, I think? Like, that was probably geared towards maybe a little bit later, uh, a little bit older audience, so maybe they didn't have so much of the comic book stuff because maybe it wasn't the audience. But, I mean, look at this. This is just, this is just you know, a layout. It's just a cartoon drawing of two, it's a two-page spread of art. You know, like, like, look at this. You've got just, you know, comic drawings. Also, I love that it just shows the whole, like, the whole screen, the whole level. Uh, this magazine is really just, um, and by, when I say this magazine, I mean Nintendo Power, um, like, the whole run of it is just really a, uh, it's really a work of art. Now, here's the uh, Zelda. They had already put out for the Nintendo Fun Club the Legend of Zelda issue, but th what they did with this, and there is Zelda in here, is they did the second quest. After you beat the game, you have to go through the second quest to beat it for real, or the second loop, but they, they call it the second quest here. Um, so, you know, again... They, you know, they give you tips and all that, but it's also cool cartoon art. Look at that Zelda. Imagine if Zelda still looked like that. Link going and grabbing the, you know, Triforce stuff. Uh, let me just see what you guys are saying real quick. You grew up with Electronic Gaming Monthly, yeah. 
Uh, I had a lot of those too. Um, I always felt like that was a little bit more. They took that a little more seriously. It was a little different, but that was that was great too. Not that they weren't taking this seriously. It's just a different um, a different way to do things, I guess. I love the counselor corner. That was always cool. Like for example, um, what was it in Ghosts and Goblins? Is there a stage select? Also, how do I beat the Red Devil? Um, let's start with the stage select question. Hold the control pad right and push the B button three times. Then press up and release. Next, press the B button three times. Push left, release, and then B three times again. Push down, release, and push B three more times. And then press start. Holy shit. Select the A button or B button at this time and push start once again. Now you're on the right track. Is this a joke? Then next is a strategy to fend off the red devil. And then they tell you how to do that. That was an unbel unbelievable way to get to the fucking level select. Um, here, oh, here's the classic one-up trick right here. You know, jumping on the turtle in stage Koopa in stage three. Um, Koopa Troopa, they got some Kid Icarus stuff. Uh, tips on beating the bosses in Castlevania. Look at this. Awesome, we are just doing this the other day. Mike Tyson's punch out tips right there on beating Mike Tyson. You know, it's, you know, talking about the, in the first minute and a half, how he's, you know, doing all the uppercuts and then he starts blinking his eye and all that. Oh, and then. Talking about comic book, you got Howard and Nestor in there. Thank you, uh, Z3R, for hosting, and thanks, Nintendo Head, for subbing with a tier one sub. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub as well. Probably my favorite section in Nintendo Power was actually the, uh, classified, uh, the classified information section, which was... Um, here, I'll read something for you, but I, I always love this. Uh, let's see. Look at a perfect. Mm, okay, like Contra. Let's see what this says. Build up your forces fast. Uh, start your game. Oh, this is the famous Konami code. There you go. Uh, heavy hitting hardware. This is for Gunsmoke. Um, when on the title screen appears, push A button four times and select button. But uh, what is this for? The when it's a you or them decision, it's time to pull out the heavy artillery. There's no time to mess around with a single shot. Weapons put in the command above to start rapid fire. So you get rapid fire with this. But you know, I, I should show you this. This is the con. This is probably, I guess, the first time they showed the contra code, right? Not to be confused with the country code. Am I right? Um, there you go. There's the there's the contra code. Such a good magazine. Um, they got stuff for Ring King, which I streamed one time. Ring King is the um, there's the uh, oh actually they have it on there. If I I'm gonna really try to zoom in on that. Ring King is the you know boxing game with uh basically cock sucking as you can see it's the cock sucking wrestling game <laughs> um there's probably a better way to say that but hey what are you gonna do double dragon now look at that art see what i mean it's a it's it's a living comic book with tips i just think it's fantastic and sorry that i'm spending such a long time at the on this but um gauntlet I, you know, I think that this is a really important part of Nintendo and gaming history. The first issue of Nintendo Power, you know, more Gauntlet tips. Gauntlet's a game that I'd really like to stream, but it's really tough. And I really need to get good. Thank you, Sleeping with the Mayas, for subbing with Twitch Prime. Oh, shit. Uh, we got Contra. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. What do they, what do they have to say about Contra? Let's take a look. Um, blast the power capsule. They're just telling you how to get like the rapid fire. Um, are you ready for alien annihilation? They're just telling you how to kind of beat some of the bosses and stuff like that. They got a section on Wheel of Fortune. 
I just did a stream, uh, check it out by the way if you didn't see it, with Aaron of the Wheel of Fortune NES game. It's pretty funny. You can see us uh, be silly and stupid with that. Legendary Wings, Gunsmoke, Rambo. Another game I have to stream. I did own Rambo growing up and I hated it. Bionic Commando. Gotta stream that too. What else they got? City Connection. Kari Warriors. Um, games that were coming out. Games that had not come out yet, I believe. This is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, 1943. Another one that I'm going to stream. Uh, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Down there, you can see it didn't come out yet. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, I actually got the day it came out in the United States. And... Uh, yeah, again, this magazine is still talking about the second quest of the original Zelda, so yeah, that, that had not come out yet. What else do we got in here? Uh, the NES Journal, Tips and Tricks. Oh, I gotta show you this page. Um, <laughs> so this is, this is a little section on celebrities. The celebrities at the time, you had Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <laughs> I made it into Nintendo Power! <laughs> Kirk Cameron from Growing Pains. And then you got the cast of Full House. Wow! Isn't that awesome? That's super awesome. Hey, what else is awesome? Coffee. Especially when it's Wawa coffee. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome, Mike. I'm talking about Pee Wee Herman and Full House. That's great. I like those things. Isn't that Fantastic. It's very fantastic. Thanks. You're welcome. Alright. So. Oh, also, there's a little clip of, um, there's a little thumbnail, uh, screen cap. That's probably the better word. From Growing Pains. And you will see Kirk Cameron playing, I think, NES right there. Yeah, you can see that. I don't know why they have the cast of Full House. Just, like... Oh, you know why? Because it's a thing on Kirk Cameron. They showed him playing Nintendo on the show, and now they're talking about that his sister, Candace Cameron, is on Full House, and that he is th their relatives or whatever. They got mailbox section. I'd love to read these someday. You know what I should do? Somebody remind me. One day, I will do a whole stream reading, or maybe not a whole stream, but somewhat of a stream uh, just reading mailbox uh, stuff from Nintendo Power. How about that? I think that's a pretty good idea for a stream. If you guys are interested, what else do we got? More letters and stuff like that. Oh, join Nintendo Power. Look at these people. They're going into the fucking TV. Even the dog, even the family dog is, is so absorbed into Nintendo that he's going into the fucking television. And then here's the backside. There you go. So that is the first issue of Nintendo Power. It is, uh, it's awesome. And then I think the second issue had, like, a Castlevania thing on it. Or maybe it was Zelda 2 or, or something. No, I think it was Castlevania. The guy holding the head or something. Anyway, that is the first issue of Nintendo Power. A couple pickups from SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. And now we're going to get back to Pac-Man 256. Here we go. So, Mike, have you tried Tetris 99 on Nintendo Switch? I talked about that earlier. I did a stream of it the other day. I'm bad at Tetris. I'm looking for a better controller. I might get the Hori controller because it's wired and D-pad is supposedly better. <laughs> That's your quick sum up on that subject. You're welcome, Brutal But Clean. Let's go. Um, I'm going to change the layout again. I don't, I don't want to do Crossy Road. I don't mind. Uh, let's try this one. Thank you, SNAS girl. All right, here we go. I mean, look like I'm Wally. -E. I think I have tried this one before. It's okay. This one's kind of cool. So I've not yet broken my... I have to get 16,000, basically. Or not necessarily, 15,900 or whatever, but... 
and going for beating my personal record. Not the highest score in the world or anything like that. I love this game. I come back to it from time to time. It's just, it's just an awesome game. If you're a newcomer to it, I suggest trying it out. It's really a lot of fun. If you see my character walking along there, you'll notice um, where his tank treads are or whatever, where his feet are. Right there, you'll see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, but there's there's little breaks in where the pellets are on the ground. They don't look like pellets right now because I'm on this weird Wally -E version of it. But as those numbers count up, you will get a two five six, and that's one of the things you're trying to do there. I think it kills all the enemies on the screen. I don't know if it does anything beyond that. Ooh, that was really close. Um, and as you can see, there's different styles that you can play as. This one's some robot version. Kind of cool. There's better ones. I'm always looking ahead to trying to look at the top of the screen to figure out what's the best course of action. Trying not to come in contact with any breaks in the pellets. And always looking for those upgrades. You can collect the coins along the way, which are for, uh, I'm gonna die. Yep. Damn it. I'm gonna change it. Not a big fan of that theme. It's okay, but. I'll try this. I don't think I've seen it yet. This one kinda looks like the Pac Man Championship game. Like Pac-Man Championship Edition. I think it kind of looks a little bit like this. Move slower if I go in that direction. I would love to get that power up. Oh, here we go. Championship Edition DX Plus. Thank you. The break. And another break. Give me a break, I sure deserve it. It's time I made it to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking for it. Want a happy ending? Tired of pretending? Woo! Shit. Don't let him get a piece of me. Give me a break. <laughs> the guy says Nell Carter was awesome. Don't you think so? What happened to my piece of the cake? Ow! Give me a break. The game of survival. The good thing about this game is you can also play it one-handed. From time to time. There's no buttons really pressed here. So I can drink coffee as I play, which is fantastic. Let's have me just drink coffee while I play this. Fuck. Maybe it's not the best idea.
Waka waka. Cool. I'm dead. Oh, I could have went back actually. Shit, fuck me. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm changing this again. I don't like that one either. Oh, these are just. Did you know the game was called Fuck Man in Japan? Yes. Originally, Pac Man was called Puck Man. I changed the name because when it came to the States. They didn't want people vandalizing the machines easily and calling it Fuck Man. Very famous piece of gaming knowledge and history that I think everybody knows. It's almost as cliched as talking about Doki Doki Panic in Mario 2. If they would move a little faster, I wouldn't die right here. Some people may not know. That's true. Some people may not know. It's like the E.T. thing. It's like everybody knows about it now. But in like, whatever, 1999 or whatever, whenever the fuck that was. Two, eh, no, probably not that early. 2001 or something when I found out about the Pac-Man, or when I found out about the E.T., like Atari landfill. I think I read about it on Atari Age. Um, and then I told James about it. At that time, that was like... You know, not a lot of people knew about it. Um, and James thought it was amazing enough that he uh, ended up wanting to make a movie about it. Uh, we were actually going to make an episode about it until he decided to make it into a movie. I even drew, drew a title card for it at one point. Um, it was the nerd on a bike riding um, or flying over the moon like, e like in EP. That was the title card. It would, probably would have been or right around the time when we did uh, uh, the Friday the 13th video. It would have been right around in there. Um, but then he decided with Kevin that he wanted to make it into a movie. Um, so, oh crap, let me grab, grab this. Do, 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 do. Do I still have the title cards? Um, you know what's funny? Uh, somebody posted uh, an image, I think it was on Twitter. Uh, somebody has the, because uh, I, I used to sell a lot of them. Um, I, don't, I don't do them anymore, but, uh, and I've discussed that a million times. But, uh, although I did do the drawings for the Kingdom Hearts video. Uh, Somebody had the one from the that I did from the Castlevania um, four-part like Castlevania thing for the for the show. So I forget which one it was, but it was one of those. So th those those title cards are mostly in the hands of the fans. Thank you, uh, fully Yuki, for subbing. Although uh, Ryan has a couple of them, he has the uh, he has the Sword Quest one, and um, shit, he got them framed. Fuck me, I'm just dead. He has the Sword Quest one and other ones. Um, I think some of the ones from How the Nerd Sold Christmas and some of the other one. I, oh, I think the Rob the Robot one. Ryan's a fan too, Mike. He is. He is a fan. Um, it's kind of like me. I'm a fan and I work on it. It's a little weird. 
and Ryan works on it too, and he's a fan. So isn't that weird? Um. Do, 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 do. See, that's the thing. I like the show just as much as you guys, you know? That's another reason I've always wanted to keep it going so much is, like, it's a show that I like. It's a show I like to watch. So, I always want to keep it going. And it's fun to make and everything. I haven't actually written an episode of ABGN in a while. I think the last one I wrote was the Bubsy, Bubsy 3D one. No. Well, yeah, as far as the, the actual episodes, the Bubsy 3D one was the last one that I wrote. But uh, Pat did a charity marathon thing, and it was Snoopy. Uh, well, uh, so Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. Uh, so I wrote that one. Uh, so technically that was the last one I think I wrote. Still contributing ideas though, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, I sort of conceptualized the one for this, uh, Amiga. So, shit, fuck. I'm doing bad now. What did I get earlier? 15,000? God damn it. I feel like sometimes when I talk and I don't pay attention that well, I do better, but it's not happening right here, so I'm gonna shut up and see if I can do better by shutting up now. There was something like that the other day. I was playing with Erin, and then she came in, and I did a lot better when she started talking to me, and I forget what it was. I supposed to know I was gonna break the chain on that side. Damn it. I don't fucking care. That helps kind of. Damn it, it's gonna just break. God damn it. By the way, nobody's complained today that I put this in the retro category, because it's Pac-Man. But technically, it's not retro, right? Oh my god. God forbid you put something in the wrong category. Just get...
There you go. Steam Crush says, I wish you could have retro and the game you're playing in the same category. That would be awesome. Ryan Silver One says, Pac-Man is retro enough. I agree. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you, Justin Garber, for the cheers as well. Thanks for the cheer, Doc. One of these days, I'm going to break out the Bugs Bunny costume and do a Bugs Bunny stream. Someday. When I'm feeling manic enough. I don't know if I'd actually play a Bugs Bunny game, though. Probably, but I might consider playing something completely different. And do, like, fucking Gradius 3. <laughs> fucking Gradius 3 Arcade as Bugs Bunny. You know what the problem with that would be? It's hard to see through the... It's a little hard to see through the eyes, so... Might not work too well. Probably wouldn't be able to do any serious gaming wearing a fucking Bugs Bunny costume. Yo, I should fucking try to beat Mike Tyson's punch out in the Bugs Bunny costume. That's what I should do. I bet I could do that. That's my new version of uh, challenges. Zelda 2 Randomizer as Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Yeah, watch out for the like like doc. <laughs> or play uh, Inspector Gadget on Super Nintendo, just as Inspector Gadget. Am I gonna die? Ooh, that was close. Can I make it? Can I make it? Boom! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fuck! Funny silver. He says, oh fuck. He says if I ever did that, he'd do the Bugs Bunny cheers all the time. <laughs> hey Mike, what interesting games have you picked up recently? Um, the Immortal in the box for NES. Um, Thrilla Safari. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but like Sprig Spriggan or Spriggan or something for uh, PC Engine, which was the first game from the uh, Summer Carnival. So I got that. 
Don't die, please, God, don't die, don't die. I'm not gonna make it. God damn, I was going for that chain. <sighs> That's the thing with this game, like, I'll do well once and then it'll be an hour until I do well again. Do you know how to pronounce it, Nero? Does anybody know how to pronounce the name of that game? I'm bad with that. I could have gotten away with doing that. Don't turn this way, don't turn this way. Fucking thank God. I get it, I'll, it'll break the chain. I'm gonna, it's gonna break anyway. still on. I can't imagine that it would be, but... Yep. <sighs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, oh, come on! with my farts. <laughs> One shot zombie says, turning seems weird here. You used to be able to corner faster than ghosts and get away from them even if they're faster, but here you don't have the space or time to do so and the ghost just seems to move at whatever specific speed they're feeling like. Um, as opposed to what, ver a one-shot zombie, some other version of Pac-Man 256? What are you talking about exactly? 
You used to be able to corner faster, see, he's saying. I would like to know what you mean. I'm gonna go back to the green one, because I feel like, digital world, I feel like this is my favorite. I think this one looks cool, to me at least. Fuck it up. Yeah, fuck. Ugh. I got so excited about the fucking electricity. Damn it. The, oh, just the older Pac Man games, like the original and Miss Pac Man. Okay. Really enjoyed the Genesis episode yesterday. Always good to see a couple of actually fun Genesis games instead of ragging on my childhood system. Ha ha ha. Um. Oh, like with that fucking, um. Well, for one thing, wasn't that Indiana Jones one on, on Genesis? And then we did another one. I'm trying to think of it. Uh. Some other really shitty one we did recently. Um, I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, we did some other one that was shitty too. Cool, am I dead already? Awesome! Did great. Do I still play Resident Evil 2? No. If I did, I'd be doing it on stream. I mean, I beat it. I beat Resident Evil 2, at least the first mission of it or whatever, with Leon, so I'm good. the beast. Thank you, Brutal but Clean. That was it. Yeah, that was the one we did. So yeah, we've done some Genesis games lately that are not very good. You see, the thing, though, also is you gotta understand that we also have to make something entertaining. <laughs> you know? And usually bad games make for funnier episodes. Because then you have more to rag on. By the way, think of how many fucking bad NES games that we do. You know? And James and I more more so grew up with uh, the NES. 
So that's not really a fair thing to say, I don't think, because we fucking play all kinds of shit NES games all the time, so... You know? Think of how many shitty fucking NES games we played. Like, all of them. Practically. <laughs> Fuck! That guy just came out of nowhere. That guy practically fucking spawned on me, for Christ's sakes. Fucking two five six, then I'm pissed if I fuck it up. Right, let's begin it, begin it here. God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God.
Fuck! Damn it! Bad idea, I guess. God damn it. noticed it was about to run out. No, no, no! Fuck! God damn it! I wish I would stop fucking doing that. I wish you could just... God damn it. I guess it doesn't take that long. It's pretty quick. Instead of just going back to the main menu of this, I wish like the game would like you have to hit start and then select to go back to the main menu instead of like bringing I feel like it just brings you back to it like I wish it would just fucking start again minor nitpick Chain broken. Game over. Sender. Great. Did I carry through? Nope. Cool. God damn it, god damn it. This is not going well. Oh my god, no, 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 come on! Fucker. It's still right up my fucking ass here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go, 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 go. Fuckers! I gotta get out of this situation! Don't you, don't you fucking get me. Mm. This is the 
only way to get through this? Fuck, come on. Oh! Wow, okay. Holy fucking mackerel. Alright. This is some crazy shit. Five six shit is up my fucking ass. Oh no 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 no! Fuck dick! God damn it! See this shit right here is annoying. Just if I hit this, is it gonna go back? See, and then it goes back to this. That's what is annoying. Like, like, if I want to go back to that, like, I should hit start or something and then choose to go back to that. That's fucking stupid. Whatever. Fucking menu. Why doesn't it kill the orange guy? These fucking purple things blow. They move slow, they block the fucking road. Thank you. 
I wish I could get that item to charge up more and be even better. This flame thing, because this flame is really good. Gets the flame Beavis. <clears throat> Fire! Ah, shit. Lego Star Wars games. Hmm. Honestly, like, when those first came out, I thought they were pretty cool, but, like, I just, I get really fucking bored of th those games. I think, like, it was a novelty that wore off pretty quickly. those requests for Saturn at me because it's hard for me to grab them right now. Jesus Christ, I can't get a fucking break. I'm just 
fucking... God, fuck! Look at that! Look how many! What is this, I'm fucking super hard or something? Like, Jesus Christ. Can't get anywhere. The power-ups run out so quickly. Also, the, the closer you get to 256, it seems, uh, the sound of, the sounds get louder. I'm getting the pellets. I already feel like I'm gonna fucking die. Get this. Good run. Not really, but thank you. I appreciate the thought, anyhow. I assume it goes higher than two five six after. No, it stops and then you gotta like do it again. And I I I think all it does is kill the ghosts on the screen. I thought it would like do more than that since that like that's the name of the fucking game, but I guess that's it. I still haven't read from anybody in the chat if it does anything more than kill the ghosts on the screen. Awful, 
awful. like a lot of times there's like just nothing you can fucking do like how what was I supposed to do there like part of it is like seriously like fucking luck like once in a while I like really feel that way cause it's like I'll have a round where I'll get like 15,000 and then I'll have a round where I'll get like Fucking 200 because I get surrounded by fucking ghosts, so like it doesn't make sense. Thank you, Endrake, for subbing. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Am I gonna even be able to get past this because these fucking things don't move? Cool, awesome, like this. This is called Mike Gets pa Tested Pac-Man 256 <laughs> for no fucking reason. Why am I doing this? Cause it's awesome. Have you been watching Discovery? Fuck no. I'd rather fucking stab my fucking eyeballs out like the fucking dude in Robin Hood. Duncan. Duncan and Robin Hood. <laughs> I'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk. It's 
it's electric. Woogie woogie. Zap, bitch. If that breaks his fucking chain, I'll be pissed. Nice. See, that's like luck. Fuck. I don't want to die, so I went back. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. If I can get that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Alright. Don't break these chains of my heart. My heart. It's the stream's theme song, apparently. Zoop. And zoopy doop. That's right, get the fucking fire in there. Fire! Mmm, <laughs> apple. I want, I want it. It'll help me get further. And that's the way it goes. Oh, the cow said moo, and the dog said oink. The dog said bark. Whatever. Woof. Oh, the cow says moo, and the dog says woof, and the pig says oink, and the cat says meow. And I'm fucking dead. And that's the way it goes. And the dog says fucking oink, guys. All right. What does Pac Man say? Chomp. What? The dog says oink? That's right, the dog says fucking oink, all right? In my world. In our world, the dog says oink. Waka waka. And the lion says roar. <laughs> Kaufman skit, by the way, if you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. Oh, they fucking took away my electricity. Fuck that. Bitches. Yes. All just gonna kill themselves, those fucking green guys. They're like, 
Fuck it, cruel world. It's over. It's over! Goodbye, cruel world. I'm going into the fire! Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. This is bad. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Skywalker Ranch. <laughs> Mr. Roper! Michael Dorn! Captain Wolf! <laughs> Shit. Oh no! Boom! Bitch asses. Say, I much prefer going for the items in this as opposed to going for the two five sixes. I've, I've been going for a lot of these two five sixes, and it's like if I'm dead, it won't really help me. You know what I mean? What's he gonna turn into? Don't turn into a pink. Link, stink. Shit. Alright, you fuckers. Doop dap doop dap doop dap scooby doo boo ba boop ba dow. Deep dee ba doop ba deep dee ba boop ba scooby doo bee scooby doo bee. That's not gonna last long. I'm in trouble right now. Cyborg. Spectre Gadget's a cyborg. I am a soulless human being. I am a cyborg. I will eat your heart out with a spoon or my robotic arm. Hmm. Freeze, Batman! Let me go backwards and collect all those. How about collecting every dot challenge? <laughs> collect every dot.
Gacko, wacko, and dot. I might need some music here soon. I don't know how many dots I can listen to. Ooh, Zapparini. Mac Booty. Zapparini. Mac Booty. Wait, get 256, go back to start a round? What does that mean? I just saw somebody say. What does that mean? Say that again. Explain that more. Oh my god, you see that shit? Craziness. What? Oh, fuck. It's a challenge. Get a two, five, six, then turn around and head back to home. Oh. Ha! Huh, I, I say. I thought you were saying. Never mind. I thought you were saying something else. I thought you were saying something about the 256 that, that I didn't know about. And I was like, oh, what am I missing out on? I feel like there's something in this game that I'm missing out on that I'm not doing for sure. Like, I know I gotta be eating the fruits more, but it's like, the problem is actually doing it, you know? Like, I know if I get a string of multipliers and shit, it's just that it's fucking hard to do. You know? Or, like, eating a bunch of ghosts in a row. You get all the multipliers and whatever. Cool, I'm dead. Oh, yep, yeah, dead. Thanks, Mikey J. Well, if I wasn't going to score for the score, what else would I be going for? Like, distance? Like, how would you even know the distance? Or just, like, time staying alive? I guess I guess you could do, like, time. Like, the amount of time you're you stay alive. I guess that could be a thing. Thanks, Red Mage, for subbing with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. I'm getting this. Okay, whatever. John Larry Cat. Uh, Bull Shannon. I'm trying to remember his actual name. Uh, was it Michael something? Uh, what was Bull's name? I can't fucking remember. Richard Mole. Thank you. How about Selma? Remember Selma? <laughs> and Mac? I'm gonna be crazy and go for that. Oh, 
take a break for a minute. I'll be back. I'm getting a drink. <laughs> I'll be back. My, is my head cut off the whole fucking time? Damn it. I'll be back in a minute.
Alright, we're back with Pac-Man 256. I've been playing a while. I'm trying to... I'm trying to break my own high in this. Which basically I need like 16,000. That's where we're at. I'm gonna change the theme again. Let's go... Let's just... You know what? The whole stream I haven't even done the original. So let's just do original... Pac-Man 256. Because <laughs> I've been trying... Uh, hey, Wish Knight. I've been trying out all the different themes or whatever styles skins that strawberry looks delicious I could just I could fucking go to town on that strawberry, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Fish says, Mike, do you have an Atari 7800? I do indeed. Um, my Atari 7800 is the system that we recorded the footage for <clears throat> the ET review for the AVGN movie, actually. So my Atari 7800 was used for a movie. But uh, at that time, it was before I had gotten into RGB stuff, so it was the best thing we had at the time, and it was uh, just a uh, AB composite mod of a 7800. But now I have an RGB Atari um, 2600, so it's a shame I didn't have that at the time. But now I have it for streaming, which is cool. I'll stream some Atari stuff soon. But yes, I have an Atari. I have an Atari. Uh, shit. I have an Atari. Uh, get me out of this fucking situation. 7800. I have the 5200, 7800. Jesus Christ, this is bad. Um, oh god, give me that. Okay. That should get me out of this situation. Uh, what else? I have a Vectrix. This is a cool console. Actually, uh, Aaron just released a video. Oh, fuck! Uh, about the Vectrix. There's a specific game called Spike. You can go check that out. Um, but I have a Vectrix. Um, the Atari stuff. So, Atari, I have a... Uh, the Atari computer. The uh, Atari 800 computer. And I have the Atari XE GS. Another system, I have the Atari Jaguar. Which there's something I've owned for a long time and haven't done a stream with yet. There's so many things. It's because I'm too busy pa playing Pac-Man 256. This is a problem. I've streamed this game many times and I haven't streamed an Atari Jaguar game, so that's stupid. I know. But, uh... What else Atari? Probably got other Atari shit. Atari Jaguar... Um... I don't know. I have the Amiga CD... 32, um, the Sega CD, the Genesis NES, obviously, um, CDI, Ooh, oh, there's a 256, I didn't even know that was coming, I was just, I wasn't even going for one right there, it just happened to happen, it happened to happen, uh, let's see, I got a laser active, Oh! What? 
what else? Uh, what can I see from here? The R Zone, Sega Saturn, GameCube, Commodore 64, Wii U, uh, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo AES. Oopsie, I, PS3, all, you know, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, uh, modded, or not modded, PS2, Japanese, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Atari, I already mentioned those, Odyssey 2, Sega Mark III, Channel F, N64, uh, Super Nintendo, Super NT, what can I see from here? Intellivision, ColecoVision, I don't know. Um, uh, oh, over there, uh, Famicom Disk System, LGN Video Art, Bally Astrocade, PC Engine, PC Engine CD, PC Engine CD-ROM, Squared, whatever, FM Towns Marty, Gen Japanese Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, uh, that's, I don't know. There you go. I, I, there's other ones. I don't know. Um, the FM Towns is awesome. Yeah, I did an FM... Well, uh, they, they needs to have more of a game selection. But uh, maybe I'll do it. If I, I'll try to do another FM Towns stream. Oh, I got the uh, Famicom Twin. Um, twin Famicom. JVC XI. Um, I feel like there's some I'm, I'm trying to remember what else. Um, Is there a game that you play real pinball machines? Is there a game that you play real pinball machines? Well, there's stuff on, like, Steam. Um, I bet you there's a lot of PC games that probably came out in the 90s, I bet you, in, like, 2000s or whatever, where you could, like, compilation things. But, yeah, there's, uh, there's, like, Steam collections, um, uh, also, you know what? There, there's a way to play the Star Trek The Next Generation pinball machine, but, like, digitally. And I, I was trying to find it the other day, and I couldn't find it. And Ryan has the actual machine, by the way. But, um, as far as digitally, does anybody know what that was released on to play Star Trek The Next Generation pinball digitally? what the name of it was. Cause I know, they, or, there's also like the Ghostbusters one. It's just like Steam Pinball Arcade. It's, it's just called Steam Pinball Arcade. Hmm. That's not a very memorable name, you know. What do you mean Stern? Space Cadet Windows 95. Stern is the company. No, well, I know. All those, like, compilation things are, like, Stern. Not all of them, but... Harry Stern pinball. 
Yeah, Stern is the one that does the license pinball. I think some people are confused between saying Steam and Stern. Oh, that was close. The danger of waiting is because you got that fucking thing coming behind you. It's gonna be a pink. One in the pink. Boom. I thought I was going to make that. Damn it. Fuck. It's the best one I had in a little bit. God damn it. Thanks, big old bucket. Do you get any points for getting the coins, actually? Never thought of that until right now. Oh, they, also, I think they give you an extra, like, millisecond of time with the, if, you, if, if you're eating the ghosts. That's weird. Another thing I didn't know. Just kind of noticed. Coins are not worth much from what you're reading, okay. <clears throat> Dead? Oh, I am lucky you didn't turn. I actually don't really know, like, how the orange acts exactly. I think the red just sort of trail you. The pink ones just go across the screen. The blue ones circle around... <clears throat> Like the squares, they just travel around. But the orange ones seem pretty, like, I'm not sure how they exactly react. Fuck. Damn it! Don't you use coins to buy the power-ups? I do, but they're like maxed out. You want me to like go to that? Thank you, Global Baker, so much for the bits. Hey, you got Global Baker, you got the banana. You're one of the few people that have the banana. Um oops, wrong thing. So this is the stuff um, that I'm using. I I mean these power-ups I like a lot. So as you can see, the lightning, that's my favorite one. Like this lightning thing is, is on eight. Um, oh, actually, wait, can I power up this? Oh, I can power up this. Now, there we go. Actually, I'm glad I went. So now that's fully charged up. There we go. It's a good thing I came back, I guess. And then uh, that one. So those are the ones I keep it on. I tend to like those, but I know I could probably change it up. 
as I get more money, I'll, I'll buy other things and try them, like, later, but... <clears throat> Giant just looks look cute, that's all. No, I mean, the giant, like, lasts for a while, and... Um... That's gonna break. Uh... I mean, maybe, you know... I guess if there was one I was gonna swap, it, it would be the giant, actually. Because the fire... I like quite a bit, and the, the lightning I think is fantastic, because it just kills people all over the screen. Plus, not only does it kill people all over the screen, if somebody touches you, they're, they're dead. So I think that that's, like, the best one. The fire is great, because, like, you, it, the fire stays in, in its spot for a little bit, and it kills people, like, afterwards. You know? Like, that one's great. But yeah, I guess I guess if I am gonna get rid of one, I swap it out for the the big Pac-Man. Actually, I'm not sure what though. Oof. So maybe I'll go for that, that beam. There's a green beam you can get. So maybe I'll start going for that. I need I need the money though, so it will take me time to to get all that money. But I'll probably go, I'll probably go for the last beam thing. That will probably help me out quite a bit if I had that. Yeah, so I'll start I'll start saving up for that actually next. gives you anxiety. I know, me too. Get on some fucking anxiety medication with this game. And I just, I don't really have the coins, I don't think, to, to do the, uh, the beam yet, so... Hey, thank you so much, that guy on HBO, for subbing. 12 months in a row. You must be a bit of a lurker. But I appreciate it so much. Oh my god. I see Larry David. Larry David's in the chat. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go, 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 go. Damn it. Talk about anxiety. I, I try I tried to go for it. Go ninja, go ninja, go, go, go ninja. Zap. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Wee. Doop dap doop dap doop dap scooby doo boo bop bop ba dow. 
I just see a witch knight in the chat just out of nowhere go wee Doop dap doop dap doop dap scooby doo boo bop bop ba da Dibidi bidi bop boop ba Dibidi bidi bop boop ba Scooby doo bee Scooby doo bee Wee <laughs> Fuck Oh my god get me out of here Oh my god oh my god No Shit Fuck shit fuck shit 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 fuck fuck You're scat man Crothers Smothers Brothers. Another one of my modern references. Good voice and pitch control. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's fucking great. Super. I am the Eggman. I am the Walrus. Cuckoo Kachoo Look how they run Ah shit, what did I do? Strike him down like Zeus! I have had enough of you! I can't fucking do this. I need that, um. I need that beam. Let's see how much money I have here. Dig Dug 256, that would be awesome. Let's see if I can get any of that beam. I don't know if I can afford anything. Oh, okay. I guess I can get some. And now I can get this one. 256. That's it for now. Okay. Well. Wait, how do I turn it on? Oh, that's how you do it. Alright. Alright, let's try this. I have yet to see this, so I know it's not that strong. Hopefully it is okay. Be good. I don't mind that. I'm going back to grab this. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Ooh. 
Alright, I'm going for it. <sighs> Bitch. God, thank God, thank God. Duh! Ooh, did that just give me enough, actually? I'm going to see if I can purchase more beam and I can get more beam. Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm here. This is Erin Please. That's me. Who's come to join me. She has a new video out. Oh, I do. About the Vectrex. About Spike on the Vectrex because I love the Vectrex. Don't know if a lot of other people do, but I do and you do. I do love the Vectrex. It's true. It's like one of the fucking coolest systems ever. <laughs> really. <laughs> What's up? We were talking earlier about game consoles. And I was <laughs> mentioning I got, I got a uh, twin Famicom. Uh huh. Famicom twin. That's very cool. You know, like the first time I saw one, the one I saw, um, it was like, because you know how they're red. The one I saw was like a faded pink salmon color, and so I thought they were all like that. I thought there was like a pinkish like color one. There's like a like, black one too. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, it's amazing. But then it's it's just the red one. But it's a good shade of red. But it was like a sun faded one. But it was so cool. This beam I got. Ooh, what does it do? Uh, kills everybody like in a line. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've played this, but not a ton. I, didn't I play it with you? Yes. But I don't think we played it a lot. And then I played it like way over a year ago, like on my own. What do you remember about this? Do you remember how, like, how to play and stuff? Um. And what everything? I just like when you like. What it. Is this the one where it gets like kind of. Not faster, but like. Yeah, like every time you eat one, it gets louder. Yeah, yeah. And it goes like chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> it's like really satisfying. I can't explain As it. you're going for the 256, uh, see, that has the number underneath. I should have got that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it does get louder, yeah. Good observation, because I had, I had forgotten that, and I noticed it again earlier in the stream. And you have these different items that you pick up that help you out. And... I'm going for a high score. 
some people were asking they were sort of like damn this is a big stage like how big is this fucking stage and I'm like well it's <laughs> there isn't it's like endless because it's oh. it's a score game you know it just keeps going yeah but that's cool yeah I can't believe this was, was this first released as a mobile game. I think it was. That's so weird to me because I first played this on PS3. It's I think it's on like a something. Lot. I don't know. And then when I found out it was actually like a mobile game, I'm like that sounds hard. I think I tried it on my iPhone and it was just. There was I somebody like earlier it. in the chat saying that they got forty thousand or something, forty four thousand on the. Fuck, I'm dead. On the iPad version of it, Damn. which is good. My high so far is like, it says it right there, 158881. That's good. I need to break my score. I'm okay. I'm hoping you'll bring me good luck. That's what I do. That's what I did for Punch Out. Oh, it was Punch Out. Mike Tyson. Were you there when I beat Tyson? I was. I was just talking to the chat. I forgot what we were talking about. We were just talking about stupid stuff, and I was asking you questions, and I think I was able to, like, just make you chill out and talk about, get your mind off it, and yeah. And I apologize for my voice. I'm having crazy allergies, like usual. Not today, Saf Dog. My panel discussion at SoCal. It was interesting, I think, gone fishing. It was all right. Oh yeah, wanna tell them what you talked about? <laughs> so me and Brooke, who puts on uh, SoCal Gaming Expo, we both really like retro games, obviously, but we also really like um, Disney parks. So we were like, hey, let's talk about Disney video games. So obviously we talked about, you know, all the Capcom Disney afternoon games and, you know, a lot of Super Nintendo stuff and stuff like that. I talked about just the messed up um, free Frozen games you can play online. <laughs> oh, where they're all it, fetish games. If you guys didn't see Aaron's Frozen video, go check that out because it's really... Yeah, tell them about the Frozen show. Yeah, so... I mean, don't... Well, let, let them go see the video, yeah, but tell them a few just, things. So basically, I thought it was weird how. So now I feel like we're kind of past the stage of time where there's a video game for literally every franchise. So it's like, oh, that's weird. There's not like really any frozen video games. So, but there's a bunch of like weird bootleg fetish games where they're all where it's always pregnant Elsa or they're getting hurt. It's just fucking weird, and they're aimed towards kids. So anyway, we talked about that. Tell me about the one with the hands. Oh yeah, there's one where your baby Elsa and it's just these two hands like this. And there's like needles and cuts and all kinds of shit on her hands and you gotta like fix her up. And it's just really disturbing. Baby so I did Elsa. a video on that. <laughs> <laughs> baby Elsa. And um, yeah, then we talked about that. And then we also talked about how, uh, we also talked about what's going wrong with Epcot. And just Disney parks in general are kind of just a mess right now, according to us. So we just t we talked about all kinds of things. It was kind of a mess, but you know, it was it was fine. You were there. <laughs> it was there. So what is wrong with Disney parks? Well, where do I start? Thank you, Officer Jungles, for subbing with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. Can I tell you what I think is wrong? Sure. You start the discussion. Okay. Uh, for one thing, there's no Pac-Man 256 ride. There Solid argument. There should be. Mm -hmm. No. Um, what's wrong with this? Like, fucking... God damn it. I hate, that was not bad. That wasn't a bad one either. 8,400. Um, what is wrong... Well, should I go park by park? <laughs> I mean, it's like... That's what I mean when you ask me. I'm like, well, where do we start? Let's start with... Yeah, throw something out there for me to even be... I don't even know where to fucking begin. Let's start with, uh... I want to start with Disneyland. Okay, what's wrong with Disneyland? Okay, well, Tomorrowland yes. needs, needs a fucking update. Which I did a whole video on that, too. <laughs> it needs to be... It needs to be at, at least cleaned up. 
because it's like throw Space throw Mountain throw some fucking like paint on there. It's all dirty. Space Mountain's dirty. It's like dirty. Fix it up, and there's like thing, like half of it's fucking Star Wars, and like if they're gonna open up a Star Wars land, fine, open up Star Wars land. But why is there Star Wars shit in Tomorrowland? Like it's it's not. It's stupid. Put the Star Wars shit in Star Wars Land. Or, if anything, put it in, uh... I mean, in Disneyland, I guess. Put it in California Adventure or something. But if you have Star Wars shit in Disney World, put it in fucking Hollywood Studios, because it's a movie. Well, there... See, I, I like that they're putting their Star Wars Land in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. That makes sense. I was kind of... At first, I was, like, freaking out a bit. And then I've just learned to just, like... Take it. <laughs> Take it and accept that, like, everything I love, everything that's left that I love about D the Disney parks are all going to be taken over by Marvel and Star Wars and trash. Like, just really lazy. If it's done well, that would help, but I know it's not all going to be done well, so, like... And by the way, there's nothing wrong with fucking Star Wars no, and Marvel. No, I just like, mean, like... They're but not it doing doesn't, it right. It doesn't have a fucking place in Disney. It's like, like Disney is fucking supposed to be like fucking Donald Duck and like like Pinocchio and like fucking Aladdin. I just miss the days of like things. Not everything's tied to a franchise, and I think that's done at least in all the parks in um, the U.S. It's like everything's gonna be tied to a fucking Pixar movie or to like fucking Guardians of the Galaxy, and I hate it. And so we talked about that. Yeah. What what is wrong with Animal Kingdom? Well, I've never been to Animal Kingdom. I, I know what you, you think is wrong with it. What, do what I about think that? Well, you think that the big tree, why isn't it the gummy bear tree? It should be. Cuz you know what it is? Tell them what it is. It's a bug's life. Now, who the fuck is talking about bug's life anymore? When was the last time Nobody you heard was ever anybody? About yeah, well, the, first of all, but when was the last time you heard somebody talk about Bugs Life. Never. Nah, like when the movie was out. What about Heimlich's Choo Choo Train? Fuck Heimlich's Choo Choo Train. ride, unless you're zero years old, that ride sucks. Like, it's awful. What? What do you think about Heimlich's Choo Choo Train? You know, I went on it once, like right before they were closing Bugs Land, me and my dad were like, hey, let's, let's go ride Heimlich's Choo Choo Train. So we did it. It would, it, it's like 10 seconds long, and when he got off, he's like, there should be a sign at the end that says, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, I thought, <laughs> because it that's was really funny bad. that you said it's like 10 seconds long, because I thought that ride was like fucking 45 minutes, because no, it was so fucking... it's really short. No, well, I mean, I thought that, I would have said that ride was like 9 minutes, because it's so fucking boring, that you, like, it seems like it takes a long time. That, that's what I thought. And all you do, you go really, 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 really slow just in a circle and like even if I was a little kid I would have fucking thought that ride sucks like it's it, that ride blows see like I'm, I understand it's like okay like uh, how they put they made um, Maelstrom in Epcot Frozen oh, fuck that. I understand adding a Frozen ride to the park but it shouldn't be in Epcot and they should make a brand new Frozen ride instead of over like just doing an overlay it's like, cheap everything's so cheap and lazy now Is that's the main problem it's like if you're gonna make a frozen ride, that's great. I like frozen, but like, do it right, you know? Well, you know what's confusing about it? Not everything is because I think the minecart train is new and that's pretty See, good. See, that was good. That was shocking that that was good. And the Little Mermaid one is pretty good. That was good. So they do a few Every here once and there. in a while. But then it's like, like Cars Land and California Adventure, that's the good. main ride, Radiator Spring Racers. That's good. It's a fantastic ride. It's probably one of the best rides they've made in like the last 20 years. Yeah. And like really the good. theming of Cars Land is amazing, and it's really helped California Adventure because that park is just a mess. But then the other two um, rides, it's like the first one was originally re of Luigi's Flying Tires, which was a take on the Flying Saucers in Tomorrowland in the '60s, and I loved it. But people were too stupid to figure out how to do it, so then wait, they took wait, it out. Wait, wait, back up, say that again. I don't. Know. What are you talking about there? So Luigi's Flying Tires was used to be in Cars Land, and it was just, Luigi's a character in Cars, and like, if you hover uh, on these tires, I don't and know you cars would over each other, like, and it, you would like, you were like a air hockey puck, and it was based, it was like a reimagined, um, I think I went on that, by the way. yeah, it was fun, 
Okay. But people couldn't figure out how to do it because everyone's stupid now. <laughs> so instead they made it Luigi's Festival of Dance and you just sit in a little car and it just does stuff. And then the other ride, it's one of it's like a classic whip ride, which is like fine, but it just Yeah. It's just whatever. You know what I do have to not all the old Disney rides were good either, by the way. Oh no, they weren't. So, just throwing that out there. It's not like I'm saying, like, oh, every old Disney thing was better. Some of the no, shit sucked. a lot tell, of it was. Tell them about the spinny Disneyland thing with the bumper, like, floaty things. That's what I was just talking about, flying tires. See, uh, like, that, at least it was an idea that was, like, futuristic for Tomorrowland. They tried it. It failed, but right. they tried. So I can't really hate it. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything that sucked too hard. Fucking Tarzan's Treehouse, I can't, I don't appreciate. I, I know it, it used to be Swiss Family Robinson. I just, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, that, I know I should sucked. like it, it but I don't. I, when I, you know how I feel like if I didn't like it as a kid, then I know it fucking sucks. Because yeah. when you're a kid, I think you're less critical. And the Treehouse thing sucked. I remember the first time I went on that Swiss Family Robinson tree. You get to the top and you're like, oh boy, here's the line. You get to you get to the top and there's fucking nothing there. It's just like, oh, that, that was it. I, I mean, I get the idea of it. It's supposed to just be like, that's what it would be like if you were like on the island or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I get it, but it's like, it sucks though. Because like their situation sucked. Yeah. They were on, they were like stranded or whatever, right? Or something. Like that I forget what the, I forget what the I their think situation so. was. So they just had to live on the island, right? So it's like making a ride about like. Just being like in an awful situation, <laughs> you know. It's like you might as well make a ride where you just get punched in the fucking face. You know what? I know a ride that I think kind of sucks. Yeah, what's that? See, I'm torn because I loved it when I was little. Utopia, where you drive the cars uh, yeah. around. It's it's not, not that good. great. Yeah. As a kid, I liked it. I liked okay. it. I liked it as a kid, kind of. So but. that's why I'm like, okay, you know. When I was a little bit older. Uh, when I went on like legit um, go karts or whatever, because mm -hmm. like, there's like other like places you can like do like go kart racing, and it, that's so much better that it's like. Then I went back to Disney and I went on those, and I'm like, this fucking sucks, you know? Well, yeah, it's totally so, different. Yeah, I know it's different, but it's like I don't know, it's just bad. Thanks, pig can fly. But. Oh, can I talk about that Mickey ride? Yes, go for it. So, they're coming out with a brand new Mickey Mouse ride in Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. So, I think it's fantastic that they're gonna make a Mickey Mouse ride. I think it's fucking so long overdue. I agree. However, the style that they're doing it in is like this 2000, you know, late, 19 whatever 2000 whatever it's the, it's the style of now and it's like five years from now that style is going to be out of style if they're going to want to make a classic mickey mouse fucking ride why not do it in like the classic mickey mouse animation style which will never go out of style and then you'll have a ride that can sit there fucking forever and won't suck in five years yeah, I was really surprised. Because it's, it's going to look dated in five years. Yeah, it's that what I call Cartoon Network look. Like, it looks like how everything looks like that now. Yeah. I'm explaining this horribly, but... No, you're not. It's just... I don't know. It's like they almost do it right, and then it's like, oh, just kidding. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, I think it all stems from they have people now running Imagineering and, and, like, just big ups in the parks that are like they don't they don't know the original vision of Epcot they don't they're kind of just like they're not theme park they're, they're dorks like, and like, you need theme meh. park dorks they're just people that are like hmm well the Incredibles let's paint that roller coaster like the Incredibles and it's shitty and it's cheap so they do it and they might sell more Incredibles merchandise but it's like there's no new cool ideas anymore. Everything sucks. And it's a bummer. Everything's a fucking franchise thing. Yeah. yeah. And I've been saying that forever. And oh my god. I'm like a so broken lucky. record, but. Yeah. No, it's true. It's bullshit. You know what's bullshit? <laughs> Modern Disney Park shit. Thank god, though, there's like 
the other parks like Tokyo Disney and stuff. It's like oh, in Tokyo they're doing. They're a great still job. making like original things that aren't connected to. They IP. just made a really cool like Aladdin walkthrough. Oh, that's in Paris, yeah. Oh, that's Paris. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean that's connected to a movie, but it's like it's cool, you know. Yeah, but it's connected to Aladdin, which is a Disney movie. That's what I mean, but it's like good. Yeah. It's like well done. They did it well done. That's why it's like I don't really give a shit about the Cars movie, but I think Cars Land is great. Right. Yeah. So, what do we miss? <laughs> I don't know. What are the, what's the chat saying about all this? Carolina Jones, the ride. <laughs> the junkie. That's a different kind of ride. Yeah, that's a different kind of ride. Um, you were pissed when they removed Malibu or replaced it with absolutely nothing. Oh my god, what's Carter. Malibu? I forgot about Malibu. So, California Adventure 1.0, as the people like me like to call it, was a total mess. So they had like, it was like a tiny Supreme Scream. I don't know if you know Supreme Scream. I don't know that either. Uh, Supreme Scream? It's like, a, it's like a free fall ride. I just got my high score, by the way. Nice. But keep going, I'm gonna See, I, I'm good luck. You are, well, apparently are. Um, so it just, you get in the thing, it takes you all the way to the top, then it drops you. So they named it Malibuomer, like, Malibu, California, get it? It's themed. Anyway, it was fine, whatever. Then they took it out, and now it's nothing. Oh no, now it's a smoking area. But it's like, why did they take it out? Because California Adventure doesn't have like anything going on. So like, if anyone knows why they actually took that out, that'd be cool, because I don't remember. Maybe your voice is like soothing and it calms me down. That's cool, I'm glad you think it's soothing right now. Because like, it's helping me play this fucking game. I was sitting here for literally three hours, and then you come down, and now I'm like 17,000 fucking points. So keep talking because it's helping me, apparently. I would love to go to Disney Sea. That looks like a beautiful park. Is that the Japan one? That's one of the parks in Tokyo Disney. That's There's Tokyo of... Disneyland oh, wait, and see. Tokyo Disney Sea. Tokyo Disney Sea has. Um, Is that like the California measure have... of it or something? Yeah, but like good. But good. Well. So they yeah. have like. um. <laughs> uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth ride, they have like a, uh, um, a Nautilus walkthrough. Okay. Um, just everything looks really great in that park. It, don't they also have like a giant, like, Little Mermaid, um, like, Triton's Castle thing? That's like pretty impressive, or am I totally making that up? <laughs> Are the people in the chat, do they like know shit? I wonder how about? long before a Kingdom Hearts ride. Yeah, one dude does. But, um, one dude. Kingdom Hearts ride, I could see that happening. You know what? They were promoting the hell out of it though at Disney World. Oh, they're, wait, they're making a Kingdom Hearts? Thing? No, they're not. Oh, they're but, not. I'm surprised oh, they're not. Oh, yeah, Beauty and the Beast ride opening soon. Yeah, that is gonna be a great ride. But guess what? Again, it's not coming to the US parks. It's coming to Tokyo Disney, right? Can you read about who subbed there? Oh. TizDog586, subscribe for 10 months in a row. Thank you, TizDog. Currently on a nine month streak. Oh, thank you. Do you go to any other amusement parks or just Disney parks? Um, I I don't like roller coasters, but I like theme, like theme park. It's like, I like just, I don't know. It's like, I like Knott's Berry Farm in California. I think there's some good Not stuff scary. there. Farm's awesome. Yeah, I took him there and that was cool. We went there for Not Scary Farm. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, if I you like guys Not haven't scary. been to Not Scary Farm, fucking do that. It's awesome. Um, I'd like to go to some smaller theme parks. We don't get talked about a lot. I don't like Six Flags though and stuff Ooh. like that. Cause it's too like, up, like upside down shit. It's just all roller coasters and I don't like that. Yeah. I can't handle it. You like imagination. Imagination. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> the best thing about knots is the fried chicken at the restaurant outside. Ooh. Oh my god, Brisbee. So we tried to go there and it was like chaotic because it was not scary farm and we didn't go. I haven't eaten that in like ten years.
you got a toy revolver from Knott's and they want to let you take it back to the East Coast on the plane. That sucks. Hey, Elgato. Tivoli in Copenhagen? That park looks awesome, Pringles. I want to go to, um, oh my god, what's it called? I think it's in... Oh my god, I'm blanking. Cat. Cat. I'm not even going to try to explain it, because I don't remember. Yeah, Disneyland food really isn't that great. Some of it's alright, but nothing's, like, awesome. Fuck. 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 Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't go to Disney World until last year, but um, I grew up going to Disneyland because um, I was a SoCal native and I just loved going. They had the better castle because yeah. it's original. And believe it or not, annual passes in the 90s were not that expensive. It's oh, so oh they like way more expensive. Oh yeah, it's like ridiculous today. I want to say one of my passes, like the best pass, I think in like the 90s was like $80, which is cheaper oh, than wow. a ticket today. I could be wrong, but from what I remember, I remember my mom like giving me money to get one because I went with my neighbors and like... Yeah, it's just real expensive now, It's right? Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, this is fucking my, my high score ever in my life. Before, before this was like 15,000. Look at this shit. I'm double. Oh my god, that, that happened so fast. Yeah, I'm like... You're kicking ass and taking names. I kind of am. Oh fuck. I just got cocky. Oh my god, oh my god. I just saved myself. I feel I'm never gonna do this good again in my life. So enjoy it, folks. Ooh, melon. Ooh, Melanie. <laughs> I'm luck. I'm fucking lucky that timing right there. Now they're finding Nemo submarines. Fuck farts. Fuck farts. <laughs> they are finding Nemo. Finding fuck farts. Oh shit. Finding fuck farts would be more entertaining than finding Nemo. I'm gonna. What know. games did we pick up? I think you showed a lot of your games already. I didn't really pick up that much stuff because I was like, I don't know. What did I get? I got an Eevee plush because, and I got Mick Kids in the box. Oh, the but that was kind of for both of the us. The Thrill of Safari. Thrill of Safari. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Altered Beast, because I didn't own that yet. That's about it. Nut kicking feast, I can't stand in the least. Altered Beast. Zap. Oh boy. Look at this shit. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. Mm. Zap. 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 <laughs> Basically. I'm Zeus, man. I'm Zeus, baby. Ooh. I can't fucking believe this. Oh boy, oh boy. Mike, do you think when the ghosts are blue? Yes. Do, do you also think they taste like blueberry gummies? Gummies? Like like grape or blueberry flavor. Like a gummy bear? Gummy bears. That's what I think. <laughs> uh, that, they're probably pretty delicious. I want to eat them. Do they make like gu like gummy ghosts? Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god! Look at that! I thought it was over. Gummy ghosts. Gummy ghosts. I wouldn't be surprised if they made something like that at some point. I feel like if they did, they would just be, like, found at a GameStop past their expiration date. You know how they have, like, candy and shit oh, at yeah. stores like that? And it's always, like, 
a little too old. Like, it's probably fine, but not. Not. The other earlier thing, uh, Skywalker asked if I can get you to go to a convention. No. <laughs> yeah, he, he's just done. No, I go to too many games. You can catch me there. Gummy dolphins. Gummy souls. <laughs> How many controllers have you destroyed in your life, asked Nero. Not many. I take pretty good care of my shit, but, but probably... You know, honestly, it's not so much me destroying the controller, it's the controller more breaking because... It's old. Like, it's old. It, like, it's, like, a couple Super Nintendo controllers I've had trouble with because I find them to be very weak, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I know James has had a lot of trouble with his controllers. Um, shit. Um, like, all his Atari controllers and shit just, like, break on. I feel like Atari is the most, like, notorious yeah. controller that have problems Well, the with. paddles will just break. I mean, if, I, if there's gonna be anything I'll say yeah. would break, it would be those Atari paddles. Over 40,000! Oh, shit! 41! It's over 40,000! Dragon Ball reference. I'm dead? Oh my god, I'm still going. Look at you go! I'm so sorry that I just made a Dragon Ball reference. It's okay, it's the only reference I know. And you know. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> ah! Dude, though, you're still, still look at the score, that's awesome. Yeah. 41, 4, 67. I, look how close I was to that lightning bolt, though. I know. Shit. That's really good, though. I, I, I can't complain. That's the best I've ever that's done. That's really good. History was made. Because you streamed the fuck out of this game. Like that six hour one or whatever. Uh, I remember. Wow. All right. So I'm going to end it there on a, on a high note. Thank you guys so much for wa watching. I'm hoping to do another stream later tonight. Are you going to stream today? I would like to if I can get my throat and voice in check. Mm. All right, guys. Thank you so <laughs> much for watching. And thank you for all the subs and for the gift subs that we got earlier. The community gift subs. See you later, guys. Thanks Bye. for watching.